Okay, class. Now, in this box, I have a picture of one of the world's greatest leaders from the last 100 years. Now, whoever can correctly guess who I've got in here, I'm going to give you a pass the next homework assignment. Okay, I love this enthusiasm. You guys are great. Uh, Joe, who do you got? Steve Jobs. Okay, good. Cassie? Mother Teresa. Nice, okay. Uh, Nathaniel? Definitely has to be Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Good guesses, okay. Now let me ask, what qualities make for a good leader? Katie? Someone kind, respectful, that listens to what the people have to say. Well done. Nathaniel? Confident, intelligent, and has swag. <laughs> swag, okay, good. I like that. All right. All right, I'm going to hand the box over to you. I want you to take a look inside and see who this great leader is, okay? So I'm going to hand it over to you and then just pass it around. Let everybody get a look at it. What do you see in there, Joe? I see a mirror. I see myself. Okay, good. Okay, so now oh, what can we take from this? What can we learn from this, Katie? That we're all leaders, that we can become the leaders of tomorrow if we tap into our full potential. That's exactly right. Now, there's only one person that can prevent you from being the best that you can be. That person is you. You're the only one who can revolutionize your life. You're the only one who can influence your happiness and your success. Your life doesn't change when your boss changes, when your career changes. Your life changes when you change, when you get beyond your limiting beliefs, when you realize that you're the only one who's responsible for your life. Allow yourself to be the best that you can be. The world needs great leaders, now more than ever. And I believe in you. It's time for you to believe in yourselves.